In the lower library of Burlington High School, Shannon Janovitz's AP English class is gathered to have a discussion on privilege and work on a craft as a part of a 30-day challenge aimed at making the students better and more thoughtful members of society. The challenge is open to all students, but not all classes are making the commitment to complete it in full like the students here. Okay, so we started this project, it's called the 30-Day Responsible Citizenship Challenge, which came out of our reading of a bunch of different texts that we have been covering. Um, 1984, The New Jim Crow, The Reluctant Fundamentalist, Beowulf. Um, so we spent a lot of time talking about what it means to be a good citizen and what those responsibilities are, which is where sort of what led us to this. So how did this project get started? To start it off, we came up with a definition of what we believed a responsible citizen was and why that was important in 21st century America. And from there, they identified different actions that we could take and that we thought students might actually take. Um, so small actions that would help them to work towards that definition. Some of the things they came up with in the definition include community, building community, um, knowledge, seeking knowledge, understanding other people, other people's perspectives, those kinds of things. So for each day, there's one challenge action that hopefully leads towards one of the aspects of our definition. When I was there on Friday to tape this segment, the challenge for the students was to identify what privileges they have and reflect on how they could use those privileges for social justice. The craft was to create jewelry based on those privileges. It's basically um, we're seeing what type of privileges we have and what type of privileges we don't have and by taking a bunch of beads and putting them on our brace it might seem like something small but we're able to see um, what privileges we have in our life and to be grateful for these types of blessings that other people don't experience. Throughout the month, the program is challenging the students to do a variety of things, including talking to and learning about people of different political views, meeting new people, trying to be open-minded about subjects, and self-reflection. I asked the students which challenge they liked the best or which ones they were looking forward to. Well, I mean, I really enjoyed the one that we had yesterday because when you talk with someone with different political views, you're like, oh, you know, is this type of friendship going to work out, you know, but you have to go over the obstacle of like different political views because in the end we're all the same type of people we all want the same type of things it's just that we have different points of view and that should never ever ever stunt like a budding relationship or friendship to like happen and we all are like equal the challenge that I'm really excited for is the high five challenge where you just oh, yeah. go around and you just high five people and it's supposed to like bring a friendly vibe to our school like our school is very accepting and we have a very welcoming environment but it's just kind of like connecting people on a different level. Like, so if I don't know someone in the hallway, I give them a high five, maybe I'll introduce myself, maybe I'll make a new friend. So it's just kind of bringing the community together. Finally, I asked what they have learned so far and what they expect to get out of completing the challenge. I would definitely try to like help feel other people of other minorities or races or cultures feel welcome and um, be all inclusive of any type of person, definitely. Yeah, so overall, like the 30 day challenge kind of like shows um, equality and diversity and how like even though like we may have like different opinions, like everything, everyone is still in the same boat and we're still a one big community and we should still all stick together. Like yesterday we did a challenge where we got to talk to people with different political views and it kind of showed that like we are all one and we're all together and that we shouldn't be divided just because of our views. And what are the hopes of the teachers with the program? The hope is that our students at Burlington High School sort of acknowledge that they have an individual responsibility to participate in, in you know, civic action, um, to be thoughtful, to think about ways that they can change what they're unhappy with. Uh, we talked about Obama's farewell address, um, and he that's really a call to action, a call to civic action, and we wanted to emphasize that idea that everybody has this title of citizen, and we all need to work together to make the world look how we want it to look. In Burlington High School's Lower Library, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.